The ego assumes a dual role as both master architect and cunning saboteur, deftly weaving threads of identity that possess the alchemic power to either elevate the soul to sublime heights or ensnare it in the intricacies of self-imposed mazes. Much akin to a labyrinth of profound self-discovery, the enigmatic concept of the ego extends an alluring invitation, summoning us to traverse its convoluted twists and turns. Ancient narratives and contemporary insights converge like celestial bodies, aligning in cosmic harmony. They share whispered revelations about the ego's omnipresent influence on the human experience, exposing its role as both a harbinger of suffering and a reluctant companion on the path to divinity. Ego as the root of human suffering. The ego emerges as a compelling protagonist, its narrative intricately woven into the fabric of ancient tales and sacred scriptures. Within the Genesis narrative, the ego materializes as a metaphorical forbidden fruit, a symbolic catalyst that sets in motion the profound saga of human suffering. This iconic representation serves as a visual anchor, encapsulating the pivotal moment when Adam and Eve, enticed by the allure of ego-driven desires, transgressed the boundaries set by the divine. As the forbidden fruit was consumed, so too did the ego, and its insidious influence began to seep into the very essence of human consciousness. A false sense of separation unfurled its tendrils, casting shadows that distorted the perception of self and others. This divisive illusion birthed judgment, fear, and insatiable desires, a visual metaphor that echoes the repercussions of Adam and Eve's fall from grace. When looking at this story, we unearth not only the genesis of human suffering, but also the recurring theme of the ego's role in perpetuating a narrative of separation, a theme that resonates through the corridors of time, transcending cultural and religious boundaries. Thus, the ego, in its nascent form, becomes a compelling force, threading its way through the very fabric of our shared human narrative. Ego versus divinity. The path to realizing one's true divine nature is obscured by the ego, which presents itself as a formidable adversary in the complex dance between the sacred and the self-serving. This revelation draws a compelling parallel with the timeless narrative of the temptation of Jesus, where the divine and the ego engage in a profound struggle for dominion over the human spirit. As Jesus faced the temptations laid before him, symbolic of the ego's allure, the struggle against egoistic desires became a palpable manifestation of the ongoing battle between the sacred and the self-serving. The arduous journey undertaken by Jesus serves as an archetypal representation of the perennial conflict embedded in the human experience, a struggle emblematic of the tension between acknowledging one's divine essence and succumbing to the ego's seductive whispers. This parallel speaks to the universal nature of the human predicament, where individuals grapple with the dichotomy of their spiritual aspirations and the insistent demands of the ego. The ego, akin to a deceptive companion, endeavors to obscure the recognition of the innate divinity that resides within each soul. Its influence, at times insidious, clouds the clarity of vision and distorts the perception of the sacred, leading individuals down paths divergent from their true spiritual nature. In contemplating this eternal struggle, we come face to face with the profound question of identity, whether one aligns with the sacred or succumbs to the ephemeral desires of the ego. The battle against egoistic desires unfolds as a personal odyssey, mirroring the larger cosmic drama where the sacred and the ego engage in a perpetual dance for dominance over the human soul. This narrative invites introspection, urging individuals to navigate the intricate terrain of their desires and aspirations. Through the lens of the temptation of Jesus, we find not only a sacred parable, but a poignant reflection of our own existential journey, a journey where the recognition of one's divine nature requires steadfast resilience against the ego's relentless enticements. The human spirit remains at the nexus of the divine and the ego, weaving a narrative that resonates across cultures and epochs, reminding us of the perennial quest 
for spiritual transcendence amidst the ceaseless allure of the ego. The ego plays the role of a skilled illusionist in the complex fabric of selfhood, creating a complex web of impressions that mold our conception of ourselves. It is of utmost importance to unravel the veils that shroud our consciousness, exposing the illusion that perpetuates separation, competition, and a misleading sense of specialness. The ego, often perceived as an immutable entity, reveals itself as a mental construct, an elaborate mirage that distorts the true essence of our being. This revelation beckons us to question the very fabric of our self-perception, challenging the narratives and images that the ego constructs to define our place in the world. In dismantling this illusionary self, a transformative process unfolds, akin to peeling away layers of an intricate facade. As the illusions crumble, a door swings open, revealing a vista of authenticity and interconnectedness that transcends the ego's confines. This unmasking is not only an act of personal liberation, but also an invitation to forge a more authentic connection with oneself and others. The illusion of separation, a cunning creation of the ego, dissipates as we peer beyond the veils. No longer confined by the walls of egoic selfhood, individuals discover a shared humanity that binds us inextricably to one another. In this shared vulnerability, the misleading sense of specialness loses its grip, making way for a more profound understanding of the collective human experience. The act of deconstructing the ego becomes a revelatory process, a journey towards self-discovery that extends beyond the individual, permeating the very fabric of our societal connections. Through this newfound clarity, the barriers erected by the ego dissolve, fostering a sense of unity that transcends artificial divisions. Authenticity becomes the cornerstone of genuine connection. The unveiled self, free from the illusions of separation and false superiority, stands poised to engage with others in a manner unencumbered by the ego's divisive tendencies. In embracing this profound deconstruction, individuals partake in a collective unmasking, a shared awakening that transcends the illusory boundaries created by the ego. The tapestry of interconnected authenticity, woven through the dismantling of illusions, beckons humanity toward a more harmonious and genuine existence. Thus, the illusion of the ego, when laid bare, reveals not only the intricacies of individual identity, but also the threads that weave us into the rich fabric of our shared human experience. The human collective ego is a powerful force that shapes the course of our shared journey in the vast landscape of human existence. By analyzing this collective ego, we face the glaring contradictions and discord that stand in the way of a world that is one in which humankind's fabric is seamlessly woven together, surpassing artificial borders. Advocating for the dissolution of this collective ego becomes a clarion call, resonating with the urgent need to dismantle the barriers that hinder authentic connections. By exploring the potential for deeper connections rooted in authenticity and shared humanity, we embark on a transformative journey toward a more harmonious existence. The collective ego, akin to a fog obscuring the clarity of human connection, perpetuates a sense of us versus them. It spawns prejudices, fuels animosities, and erects walls that fragment societies. As these barriers rise, the vision of a unified world, a world where individuals recognize the intrinsic humanity in one another, becomes obscured. In advocating for the dissolution of the collective ego, we espouse a paradigm shift, one that transcends individual aspirations and embraces a communal spirit. This dissolution is not a negation of individuality, but a shedding of the divisive tendencies that impede the realization of a shared destiny. Through this exploration, we illuminate the potential for a collective consciousness that values authenticity and shared humanity over discord and division. The dissolution of the collective ego paves the way for a world where individuals, liberated from the shackles of egoic constraints, forge connections grounded in empathy, understanding, 
and a shared commitment to the well-being of the entire human family. When indulging in dissolution, the collective ego transforms from a barrier to a bridge, an instrument that fosters deeper connections among individuals and communities. As we advocate for this transformative process, we envision a world where the harmonious symphony of shared humanity drowns out the dissonance of the collective ego and the collective consciousness embraces the unifying threads that bind us all. A lantern that illuminates the shadows cast by the ego, mindfulness emerges as a valuable guide in the turbulent terrain of the human psyche. This key practice offers a sanctuary from the ego's pervasive influence by instilling a heightened awareness of our thoughts and actions. The tranquil scene depicts the serenity that mindfulness can usher into our mental landscapes, providing a stark contrast to the chaotic undercurrents often perpetuated by the ego. Mindfulness invites individuals to engage in a profound act of self-observation, to witness the ebbs and flows of their thoughts without succumbing to the currents of ego-driven impulses. As the mind becomes a theater of observation, the discerning eye identifies the subtle machinations of the ego, those whispers that sow the seeds of judgment, fear, and desire. This heightened awareness becomes a transformative step, akin to reclaiming control over the reins of consciousness. By recognizing ego-driven impulses, individuals gain the capacity to pause, reflect, and choose responses rather than reacting impulsively. The practice of mindfulness becomes a conscious act of defiance against the ego's attempts to sway the course of thoughts and actions. In cultivating mindfulness, individuals embark on a journey of self-mastery, a quest to harmonize the mind, body, and spirit. The sanctuary created by mindfulness becomes a refuge, shielding individuals from the tempestuous whirlwind of egoic thoughts that seek to dominate consciousness. As awareness deepens, the ego's illusions lose their grip. Mindfulness becomes a transformative practice that not only disentangles the mind from ego-driven impulses, but also fosters a profound connection with the present moment. It is within this moment, free from the trappings of the ego, that individuals discover an oasis of serenity and authenticity, a space where the ego's influence wanes, allowing the true essence of the self to shine forth. The idea of letting go and accepting oneself appears as a powerful remedy in the complex dance of life, a transforming counterbalance to the ego's insatiable hold. This profound concept invites individuals to release the reins of control and embrace life's unfolding journey, where the currents of experience navigate the course without the stifling interference of egoic demands. The notion of surrendering control is not an act of capitulation, but a courageous release, an acknowledgement that certain aspects of life lie beyond the scope of our influence. Trusting the flow of life becomes a transformative practice, akin to relinquishing a burden that the ego insists on shouldering. In surrendering the need to control outcomes, individuals partake in a liberation of the spirit. The ego's grip, characterized by a relentless desire to manipulate circumstances, is loosened. This profound act of surrendering becomes a gateway to a harmonious existence, a state where the individual aligns with the rhythms of the universe rather than attempting to orchestrate them. Acceptance, the companion to surrender, is an art that allows individuals to meet each moment with an open heart. It is not an endorsement of passivity, but an embrace of life in its myriad forms. Through acceptance, the ego's inclination to resist what is dissolves. A harmonious existence unfurls as individuals learn to dance with the unpredictable cadence of life, finding beauty in the ebb and flow of every experience. People who follow the road of acceptance and surrender set out on a profound journey toward inner peace. People find a calmness that surpasses the turbulent swings of the ego when they give up the idea of control and embrace life's unpredictable nature. Consequently, acceptance and surrender turn ideas into a way of being, a condition of enlightenment in which people flow peacefully with life's river, free from the ego's insistence on going against it. 
serving others functions as an alchemical instrument in the broad field of self-discovery, one that may dissolve the ego's oppressive hold. These transforming actions shift the conversation away from self-interest and toward the limitless possibilities of group empathy and compassion, shedding light on a way forward that leads to a more peaceful and connected life. Acts of service become a catalyst for personal transformation, a process that extends beyond the self to embrace the collective human experience. The ego, often fixated on individual desires and aspirations, begins to dissolve as attention shifts towards the well-being of others. In this act of selflessness, individuals discover a profound sense of purpose, a purpose that transcends the ephemeral pursuits of egoic gratification. Through service, personal boundaries blur and a broader, interconnected perspective emerges. The ego's fixation on individual identity yields to a realization of shared humanity. In extending a helping hand, individuals bridge the perceived gaps that egoic tendencies create, fostering a sense of community and interconnectedness. Service becomes a conduit for empathy and compassion, an avenue through which individuals recognize the intrinsic worth of every being. As the ego's grasp loosens, the barriers erected by self-centeredness crumble, revealing the shared tapestry of human existence. Each act of service stitches a thread, weaving individuals into the fabric of a compassionate and harmonious collective. The transforming power of service is found not just in the effect it has on the receivers, but also in the deep, inward transformation it causes in the giver. The spirit of oneness triumphs in this exchange of compassion, dissolving the ego and demonstrating the transforming power inherent in the straightforward yet profound act of helping others. The practice of witnessing thoughts and emotions becomes a transformational art within the vast field of self-awareness. It is an intentional act of establishing space between the observed or the world of ideas and feelings and the observer or the actual self. This deep practice offers people the secret to navigating life with fresh freedom and opens the door to escape from the ego's stifling grip. A subtle alchemy occurs when people practice examining their thoughts and emotions. The genuine self is represented by the observer, who is different from the mind's constant chatter. This act of separation turns into a deep act of liberation, a break from the egoic restraints that frequently entangle the person in a web of reflexive reactions. Liberated from the ego's constraints, individuals find themselves endowed with a newfound sense of freedom, a freedom to choose responses consciously, unburdened by the automatic reactions dictated by the ego. The observer, no longer entangled in the chaotic dance of thoughts, becomes a beacon of clarity, guiding individuals towards authentic responses and decisions. In this act of separation, a pathway unfolds, a journey towards self-mastery where the true self reigns supreme, unencumbered by the ephemeral turbulence of passing thoughts and fleeting emotions. As the practice deepens, individuals traverse the terrain of inner exploration, unlocking doors to a reservoir of resilience and wisdom that lies dormant beneath the surface. Beyond the labyrinth of egoic entanglements, the ultimate goal beckons, an aspiration to attain inner peace and contentment that transcends the limitations imposed by the ego. This pursuit unfolds as a transformative journey, akin to a spiritual battle within, where conscious choices between ego and divinity pave the way for profound personal metamorphosis. The pursuit of inner peace involves a conscious choice, a deliberate decision to transcend the ego's limitations and embrace a higher, more expansive state of being. It is a spiritual battle waged within the recesses of the soul, where the echoes of egoic desires contend with the whispers of divinity. Individuals' decisions become crucial as they travel through this remarkable trip. Making the deliberate choice to choose divinity over ego turns into a lighthouse that shows the way to inner peace. The journey's transformational force is seen in these decisions, a metamorphosis that unlocks the latent capacity for satisfaction and calm, and overcomes the limitations of the ego. The ultimate goal of achieving inner peace 
becomes a beacon that guides individuals through the tumultuous seas of life. In choosing divinity over ego, the individual not only finds solace, but also becomes a catalyst for broader collective transformation. The ripples of inner peace extend outward, influencing relationships, communities, and the fabric of human interconnectedness.